we're doing is we're making a chicken door. Um, again, I'm do all this on cheap. So we're making a track that the door will actually slide in. And the, the door is going to be made out of the um, plywood that we took from the um, took from the windows and it's just gonna slide it's not gonna be a super tight fit it doesn't have to be tight um, well you don't want it to be tight um, it's gonna slide in this channel um, we've got a linear actuator it's gonna just pick the door up and down and the door like I said just slides in here so all this is is some scrap one by fours um, and they are um, I think they're actually a true one by four inch and then in the middle is another one that is trimmed down to only uh, I think this is two and a half inches maybe three trim down and so it, you sandwich that one in there which gives you your track your slot and just these staples stapled it together so now that is what our door will ride in so let me do this next one and our door is going to be the hole is 12 inches by 10 inches. Our door will probably be about 12 by 14 because you know, it's going to ride in these slots. Might not be quite 12, maybe 11 and 3 quarters. Um, it should be about from that opening to the other opening. It should be roughly uh, 12 inches. So our door will make it just slightly under. So the, um, like I said, we'll sandwich that in here and make our next slot. I've already got the hole cut in the door. Just uh, uh, took a jigsaw, cut a, a 10 by, it's a 10 by 14 hole, but we're gonna have a um, treated two by four at the bottom of it that's gonna kind of be like the footer uh, that and it's gonna be notched out to where it sticks out the door a little bit to just give it a spot to sit on we fell out of the fan so there it is uh, for the most part I got it in quite center this thing but that's fun eyeballed it. it doesn't really matter it's got or actually I think it's leaning over just the way it's hanging there we go um, there's those tracks they're just uh, stapled in there and then I put uh, another one by four right there to pick up the gap this is a linear actuator um, and the reason I'm not hooking up direct is because if I did it would um, and I went ahead and went up all the way to the top because there was a good place to tie in to mount it right there plus I can take my wire out of the way and bring it over here and down along there and I'm gonna put my electronics on the wall right there so no reason not to just get it up out of the way so that's what I did um, and I put a wood block behind there stapled in uh, to screw into as well so what it does is it it retracts opens the door this has got a foot of travel in it so it'll open the door about a foot. Um, 
oh, what I was saying, the reason I didn't hook this thing up direct is because this thing has the well it's very powerful I don't remember how many pounds of force it's got but definitely don't want to crush a chicken if it's pushing it down so what I'd rather happen is gravity make the door fall it's heavy enough or it'll it'll come down but I don't want force pushing the door down so we mount it on a string so if something gets stuck underneath you know it just continues down and there's just slop in the rope so that's the reason for the rope so we're done with this now we just need to wire it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it and then I'll try to explain it to y'all uh, we go outside and look That's what it looks like outside just a little bit of a ledge right there I'm gonna mount a board underneath and there's where I, I'm gonna to, there's where I stapled my tracks people the one by four and we'll just touch those spots up with some paint we're going to, have to do some painting around here and paint that door as well um, I'm gonna mount a board underneath that will be used to mount a um, mount a ramp that's gonna go down so let me uh, work on that there's the ramp just putting this all together with staples quick and easy eventually this will be covered with chicken wire there'll be a it's called a tunnel but it's a chicken wire covered tunnel that goes through there and over into there. For now, that's what we got. Now, what's left is to wire up the actuator. All right, it is all wired up. We've got a uh, float charger over here. Of course, it's plugged in. I'm going over to here. It's fuse protected. It comes over to the battery out of the battery. We've got a fuse protecting this whole circuit. Comes over to the timer, which is, this is a, a, a timer relay. Um, the timer relay powers this relay. What this does is, uh, this is hooked up to the battery. So when it's off, it's sending positive and negative to the actuator. When the power turns on, it flips. And so what it does is it, um, when it flips, it um, reverses polarity. And uh, so then it reverses polarity, which powers the uh, actuator the other way. So what, when it's uh, off, it's powered down, extended out, and when this powers on, it uh, retracts. So if we put it on manual, and we turn it on, it's not the fastest thing. You can see it's going up. And the actuator has built-in limit switches, so it, when it reaches all the way up, it turns off, and when it reaches all the way down, it turns off. So just to speed this process up, I'll show you what happens when it powers off. So then it goes, I guess I'll show you all again. So you power it on, relay is on. So it's sending positive and negative. 
and then it reverses polarity when it turns off and it starts powering down. We'll do it one more time. On. And we're on, we're doing manual settings right now, but um, normally it would be powered through here. Of course this lights up and that lights up when they're on. And of course it's just powered by a little 12 volt, 12 volt, 7 amp hour battery. I picked this one up at Walmart, but it, you can get them cheaper on Amazon. This came from Amazon, this came from Amazon, the charger came from Amazon. I'll put some links in the description. And I will show y'all, I kind of wrote up a little wiring diagram, and I'll show y'all. I just used this, I uh, bought a spool of the lamp cord, white lamp cord, because it kind of blends in. And so that doesn't make for the easiest of determining which wires are which, because it's all white. But the lamp cord actually has a striped side. One of the wires is striped. I always just use that for positive. So let me uh, let me go inside where I got some better light, and I'll walk y'all through the wiring diagram.